This documentary is part of a study commissioned by Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation to record the voices and views of the poor. The objective is to attempt to show the reality of the lives of poor people of districts of Bonaire and Deir Ismail Khan. The poor women and men who have been forgotten by the state and society of Pakistan and who have never been heard. Though thousands of such poor speak, but they speak the language of silence. This place is called Gogandara. It is surrounded by insurmountable hills. These hills abound in forests. People in some areas cultivate vegetables while other rare goats and sheep. It rains frequently here and often cats and dogs. Rains play havoc when thunder strikes and ignites landsliding. This family lost virtually everything in such an incident, especially the household articles and their cattle. They were rendered displaced and had to descend to the plateau of the Bunair Valley. They were driven into extreme poverty overnight owing to this catastrophe. Our problems remained unresponded and unsolved. We can't afford sending our children to schools. We are an overcrowded family with many children. We can't avail whatever health facilities are available here. It flooded the area when hill torrents started overflowing. We lost our home. Our household articles, utensils and cattle were swept away. We barely managed protecting the family members, especially the children. We took the children on chart poise and moved to this place. We are stranded here and have no choice. It was the time of Fajr prayers. It was still raining with scary thunder. We looked on this phenomenon. Then water started pouring down heavily from the hills. It was certain that the area will see a worse flood. We heard weird sounds followed by screams. Families had to leave the homes. We could barely walk some distance when greeted by a storm. It was too foggy to see through. We saw our homes destroyed and cattle killed in a while. We had 11 animals including sheep, goats, bulls and cows. All annihilated. All annihilated. We could not protect any of our assets, not even a needle. The name of this village is Ali Wanda. It is situated in Dera Ismail Khan, Tehsil Paharbur. It has 60 to 7 houses, which are all kacha houses. They are all huts. The whole village portrays the picture of dismal poverty. Most of the inhabitants rear goats or work as daily wagers. Our village consists of 75 houses with 560 children and 5 to 600 women. Like most of the other co villages, I weave rope and work at a carpet loom. I make and sell baskets as well. Having no consistent source of income here, most of the people often move to nearby urban centers of the Punjab province. Hard working as they are, they find better wages over there. We have seen unemployment only rising here. It seems government is ignorant of the existence of this village as the situation corroborates this case. Ours is a village without electricity, drinking water and functional school. Poor as we are, can't afford the expenses. It seems that everything is wrong with our fate.
ਇਤੋਂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਾਡਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਸਾਡਾ ਪਿਉ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਹ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੇ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਰਿਵਰ ਆਰ ਫੋਰ ਫਾਦਰਸ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਇਟਸ ਬੈਂਕ ਸਿੰਸ ਲੌਂਗ ਆਰਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਫ ਰੈਕਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਬਾਈ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਟੋਇਸ ਬੂਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਸਕਟਸ ਬਟ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਇਜ਼ ਐਗਰੀਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਐਸ ਨੇਟਿਵ ਪੀਪਲ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਕਟ ਗ੍ਰਾਸ ਔਰ ਈਵਨ ਸਟ੍ਰਾਪ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਲੈਂਡਸ ਦੇ ਓਨ ਸਮਹਾਉ ਵੀ ਪੁਸ਼ਿੰਗ ਦ ਲਾਈਫ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ we would drink water from the river but now it is no more worth drinking as city administration has discharged the drains of the sewerage into the river we have witnessed the river waters going polluted and have ceased drinking it we walk a long trail to fetch water from a hand pump installed in the land of a kind and considerate man who does not prevent us from doing so we wish we could have installed a hand pump near our settlement we wish we could have a permanent place to live in we wonder if we have any rights of making demands in any case we would demand the government to install a hand pump in our settlement our destiny could change out rightly if our people are given government jobs I have five children. My eldest son, who was the long earner to support the family, got killed. Let me say in crude terms, my son was the real father of these children as he would earn to feed them. but he is no more he was passing by the road and saw a murder he was the only eyewitness he begged for the mercy but they did not spare him and shot him dead ina da piu moe te chuo di di chai piche wal chuo my daughter in law gave birth to son after 2 months of the death of my son my daughter nursed him as his mother left for her parents home my daughter in law left for her parents home as she reached there her family killed my daughter and pretended that she had died of natural death they buried her body without even informing me i approached the court and got a decree issued for the postmortem of the body of my daughter when her body was taken out the head appeared detached from the body didn't you see her body in the graveyard i am a poor woman while the accused are a well of family they bribed the investigators and got the reports twisted my husband is bad ridden since 30 years i served him tea and food with my own hands <laughs> 